butterflies are well known for their beautiful colors and patterns. But have you ever wondered how they produce their amazing colors? Well, you're about to find out. Hi, I'm Gerd and here at Murdoch University we're uncovering the secrets of these fantastic animals. When you look at a butterfly under a microscope, the wings appear like tiny roof tiles called wing scales. Each of these scales is about one tenth of a millimeter, which is roughly the size of a human hair. To take an even closer look, we're going to use what's known as an electron microscope. When we do this, it turns out each wing scale consists of a complicated structure. They each look like a long, flat, hollow box with grids at the top, a solid bottom and solid side walls. In some butterflies, like this green one, which is what my research is focused on, the scales aren't actually hollow. In fact, they are filled with these tiny little maze-like structures called gyroids. In mathematics, a gyroid is like a double labyrinth or a 3D maze. So now that we know how their wings are structured, how do the butterflies use this structure to create color? Well, butterflies use a whole range of different mechanisms. Most butterflies produce color through pigments in their wing scales. Pigments are molecules that absorb some frequencies of light. When this happens, the frequencies that are left produce the colors we see. But our green butterfly has a very different mechanism of producing color. It creates what we call structural color. Structural color is similar to what we see with soap bubbles. Soap bubbles appear colored even though the material is see-through. Structural color is a color that's created from the nanostructure. In this case, the butterfly wing appears green because of the way the light interacts with the gyroids. We can demonstrate this phenomenon by spraying alcohol at the wings of our green butterfly. When I spray ethanol on the butterfly, the green color largely vanishes. That's because the alcohol fills all the hollow spaces in the wing structure with an optically similar material. Then, as the alcohol evaporates, the structure re-emerges and with it, the green color. The gyroid in these butterflies is just one of the ways in which nature is using nanostructures to achieve a particular function. So, by understanding these nanostructures, we're hoping to get a better understanding of how we can use similar structures in man-made nanotechnology. Including solar cells, battery systems and communication materials, just like the optical fibers that power the internet. So, thanks to these amazing creatures, we're learning more about the nanostructures that could one day help us develop the technologies of the future.